king of England had ever visited America before. So nice of you to come. Mr. President, forgive me for not getting up. So Franklin invited them here to the country where we could all relax. In June 1939, the king and queen of England visited Franklin Delano Roosevelt at his country retreat in upstate New York, and the special relationship was forged at a hot dog picnic. This is the backdrop for Hyde Park on Hudson, a tale of the president's bed romantics and front porch diplomacy. It stars Bill Murray, Olivia Coleman, and Laura Linney. She's obviously his mistress. Look over there. The secretary. They'll see us. Where? I am. Catherine really was, was Oscar bait more perfectly prepared. That's, that's a little unfair, I think, because actually, um, and, and I've been unfair in this as well, because I implied in an earlier review that they were dragging themselves along by the coattails of King's Speech, whereas in fact, this was in production before, and uh, a happy stroke... I bet it didn't help with it, it's probably speeded up the production a little. It though, might have, it? it might have. I think, it, yeah, I think, it's been, I think it's been a mixed blessing for them, because actually, you know, this was sort of, you know, a few months ago, one did sort of have quite high hopes of this for, as, a, as an Oscar contender. Um, I think it's strange, you know, thinking about it in relation to something like Flight, which is entirely driven by this great charismatic performance. Something about Bill Murray's performance in this kind of, it's a sort of slightly hollow centre. Mm. He's great, he's charismatic, but he's, he's he, sort of strangely worried, not here. I worried that he was miscast. I've always seen him more as LBJ. I think he'd make a great LBJ, but FDR, he didn't quite convince me. That's interesting. I was really looking forward to this because I thought the idea of Bill Murray as, as uh, Roosevelt was very interesting. But the thing about Bill Murray is that when he's great, he's really great, but sometimes he just phones it in, and I'm afraid that's sort of what he was doing here. I mean, he looked the part, he carried it off, but I got the impression his mind was sort of on something else all the time. Uh, and that's a weird thing that only Bill Murray can do, and he, that's what you get with the great man. Um, he does have one fascinating scene early on, though, Well, he? he does, and if only the movie had been all about that kind of thing. The, the, the problem with the movie is it's split between the royal visit his relationship with the royals and his relationship with his mousy, sensitive, uh, distant cousin, Daisy, played by Laura Linney. And there's a very, very interesting, difficult, painful scene where she has to be sort of intimate with him in a car. And I, when I saw that, I thought, wow, this is, you know, this is, she's, it's like, she's like an abuse victim. You mm. know, he's like really taking advantage yeah. of his office, surely. You know, this is Monica Lewinsky stuff, isn't it? But then the movie just goes into kind of nostalgia, sentimentality mode, entirely unearned. And everything about it, it just seems half asleep. I, it's a movie you just wanted to slap around the face and say, wake up, you know, you, you look like you're kind of torpid. It was interesting when it was nasty. And it was interesting, as you say, when Daisy and FDR's relationship is kind of kinky and strange and mm. gets to the nub of it. Um, whereas, you know, when it sort of, it, that never kind of came to anything. It never yeah. kind of exploded in the way you hoped it would. I don't think the problem was with the direction at all. I think it was just the material. I think it was the screenplay. Just, it just needed work. I just needed, to, they needed to decide what is this movie about? Yeah. What, what is this film about? And I never got a clear answer to that question. Although, as Catherine says, there are interesting sharp moments, especially when uh, Queen Elizabeth, played very well played by Elizabeth, Olivia Coleman, says, you know, these people don't like us. Listen, listen to their surnames. They're Italians, Jewish. Mm. You know, my goodness, that's quite, you know, considering what we know about Elizabeth's apparent sympathy for appeasement, she comes across as a sour meanie, much nastier, interestingly, than Helena Bonham Carter, mm. Helena Bonham Carter's version mm. in, in the King's Speech. And weirdly, I got the impression, wow, I wonder, uh, however disconcerting this film is, it has flashes of what I felt was sort of verisimilitude. I bet you that she was closer to that than in the much more uh, sucrose version in, in, in Tom Hooper's film. But it didn't, I don't know, it didn't add up to very much. You were wonderful tonight, young man. What do you mean? Just what I said. You were graceful. You were confident. You're going to be a very fine king. I don't know what to say. Your father would be very proud. I'm not so certain about that. <coughs> if I were your father, I'd be proud. 